Welcome to Abundant Life. Today on the homestead, we're going to spend a little time cleaning up the campsite. Um, it's a nice little area in our woods that uh, it's good for bringing out friends and family, or even sitting alone around the fire. Time to time, I'll come out here just to cook, and now and then we uh, we bring tents out here and set them up usually spend a lot of time out here and especially in the summers um, I haven't been out here much with uh, with family issues a lot of health problems with various family members I haven't been out here much since September of last year I did come out uh, last week and cut up a little, some logs that had uh, fallen off the of trees got them laying around to clean up but uh, other than that, we were just going to go around and uh, going to clean up the trash, clean up clean up stuff that's not been cut up, take care of some of the weeds, knock them down. Uh, we do have some friends coming over this weekend, so before we get started, I might give you a look around here. Let me pour a squirt of coffee first. So growing up, we we spent a lot of time out here. Even as an adult, spent a lot of time growing up out here. It's always a, it was a little different way back then, though. The woods was a lot clearer. I had a little fort built back behind some of those trees, and my oldest brother he took a uh, backboard stretcher and hauled it up into the top of one of the trees where it stayed for good 20 years before it finally rotted away we had a lot of trails through here there was a uh, there's a seemingly ancient apple tree out there in the middle there's uh, some raspberry patches back there As you see there's really not a whole lot for trails and such though because this place has been taken over by Japanese honeysuckle. This bush right here is Japanese honeysuckle. Stuff is everywhere. We're not going to cut any of that out today because if you cut it out, it grows back with a vengeance. So we try to rip it out by the roots with the tractor. When I came home, when I moved home about 12 years ago, Everything here was overgrown with that honeysuckle. The horses used to keep it down, but knowing that I wasn't able to handle full-size animals anymore, and they got rid of the last couple horses, and then the one, the one horse that had been with us all our life, she uh, she got old and died, and she's the only one buried out here. But the horses kept all that honeysuckle down, but once they were gone, it just it, it took over with the vengeance. So everything you've seen on the camera, everywhere you can see within a foot of the camera, is an area that I came in, started years ago, ripping out the honeysuckle, cutting up the dead limbs, just clearing us out a nice little place to enjoy. And it's a constant battle every year. I try to uh, gain a little ground and maintain what ground I gained, but uh, it just keeps coming back. And if, if you live in this area of the country, you know exactly what I'm talking about because that honeysuckle pops up in every fence row, every ditch, at the base of every tree, and any immovable object. You've got honeysuckle growing if you're not ripping it out. So one of these days i'll get this whole all cleared out but for now i'm getting there and it still makes for a very nice little area for us to just spend a little time with nature does a lot of good for for mind body and soul to have a little place like this so it's kind of important to me and it's important that i get it caught back up so that's what we're going to do today We'll see where it goes. I think first off, 
first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to grab the tractor and I'm going to start cleaning up some of this wood that I cut up from a dead ash tree. Doing things like picking up firewood isn't very fun when you got a failed back. That's why I got the tractor. That's my back. And most of my muscle anymore. But I try not to let my own broken body stop me from doing some things. It will stop me from doing as much as I want to though. Probably two or three bucket loads to get all this cleaned up. And that's about it for the firewood. Let this ash tree sit a little too long. It's got some mushrooms growing out of it. It'll still burn, just uh, not as hot and as long as it does before it starts rotting. And it's still got a lot of good solid wood in it, though. So I'm kind of wondering if the microphone picks me up over the tractor. I really doubt it does too well. But I'll sit here and talk about it a minute. The tractor is something you'll see a lot of. Said it is it's my back and my muscle most any job around here that it can do. 
It's an old Kubota B7100. Funny thing is, I didn't know when I bought it. I found out sometime later, looking up the serial numbers, it dates to the same month and year that I was born. So, me and that tractor is the same age, but she's in a lot better shape than I am. I'm gonna shut her down right there because getting this off of here is about all I can take at the moment. It's probably the hardest part of uh, being disabled is not only finding, but admitting to your limits. And sometimes it kind of sucks. I spent years in the Army. Spent years working in a log yard. I sling stuff like this all day long. Sometimes 12 hours a day, bucking up logs. I figured one day I'd get old and wouldn't be able to do it anymore, but I think I was still pretty young when I couldn't do it anymore. But yeah, that's probably... I still do a lot out here today, but these two bucket loads is the limit of my hard work. <sighs> Sit down and break a minute. I may or may not be back tomorrow on video finishing up the work out here, but uh, whether I am or not, if you're watching this, even if you're not, I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you from Abundant Life Homestead.